You could say that Mario Kart Wii was destined to become a classic in Mario culture simply because nearly 40 million copies of the dang thing were sold. But however it got there, it is still a classic all the same. Mushroom Gorge, Coconut Mall, Koopa Cape, Maple Tree Way, just some of the tracks originating in Mario Kart Wii that would go on to be Mario Kart Legend. Not to mention possibly containing my favorite Rainbow Road. It's a very pure kart racing experience. Most of the additions seen to the gameplay were pretty easy to grasp the appeal of. We now had motorcycles that allows you to wheelie to gain more speed at the cost of turning. Inline drifting allowed for much more tighter and satisfying turns around sharp corners. Half pipes gave you even more opportunities for tricks and speed boosts. Dry Bowser being the object of my desire for way too long as a kid as I struggled to unlock him. From the mechanics, to the level design, to the roster, there's a lot of simple joy to be appreciated in Mario Kart Wii, right before the series would start to expand in some bigger, more complex ways. And if you can promise me you won't judge, I actually did spend a majority of my time with this game as a kid, using tilt controls.